Hey there, fellow retro tech fans! Introducing the Videopack G7000, also known as the Magnavox Odyssey 2 in North America. It is a classic video game console that was first released by Philips in 1978. One of the unique features of the video pack is that it comes with a membrane keyboard that resembles a real computer. This console also comes with two joysticks. However, there are no ports on the console and the cables are attached directly to it. This is also the case for the power cable and the RF cable. I guess Philips wanted to make this console as affordable as possible to compete with Atari 2600 and Intellivision. The games are stored on cartridges and one of the nice features is that they can be hot swapped, which means that you can change them while the power of the console is still on. After a cartridge is inserted, a screen will show up to select a game. The label on the cartridge describes how to start the game. It always includes pressing the red eject button followed by a number or letter. Let's take a quick look inside the video pack. It seems that it hasn't been opened for a while. There's a lot of dust here. Let's remove the screws that hold the main board and check it out. The heart of the console is the first microcontroller produced by Intel, the MCS48. It includes 1 kilobyte of ROM, 64 bytes of RAM and 27 I.O. ports. The video pack also has a custom video processor chip that handles the graphics and sound. Another important piece on the board is the 128 bytes memory chip. And there are also a lot of other integrated circuits that are used as glue logic. I just have three game cartridges here, but the system has a limited number of titles anyway, making it perfect if you want to collect all of them. Let's take a look at some of the games. This is the first game cartridge released on the system. It includes three games. The first one is called Race. The game is actually very responsive and very well playable with the joystick. Another game on this cartridge is a clone of the Sprint 2 arcade game, which is great to play with two players. There is also this game that utilizes the usage of the keyboard for two players. The first player enters a word and the game scrambles the letters into an anagram for the second player to unscramble one letter at a time. Thank you for watching this video and happy retro gaming!